This is my main scene that I told you about. I'm not a henchman anymore. It was too much for me. I was being overstretched. Now... Now I'm, I'm now Tim. Listen, I'm Tim, the giant's assistant, and here I am in the giant's kitchen. And it's just as well that I like wiping down surfaces. <laughs> Washing up I don't enjoy. Well, you have to strip down to your smalls and dive in wearing a snorkel. <laughs> which can be a bit daunting, but um, I shouldn't really complain because the giant treats me terribly well, really. Tim, he booms. That's about it, really. He's not terribly verbal. <laughs> Just grunts a lot, which, you know, I quite like in a man. I don't know if you've heard, but he is enormous. <laughs> I mean, he's huge. I know what you're wondering. You're wondering how come everything else in the room is large, but the iron is small? Well, it comes from the giant's monopoly set, that's why. <laughs> we don't play anymore. Not since he lost rather badly and shut me in the box for three days. I didn't mind. Thought I was on a long weekend to Barcelona. Now, I do miss people. I do. I mean, the giant is a bit of a loose cannon, so we don't socialise. <laughs> Harp is disappointing company. Ah, uh, shut your face! Shut your face yourself. <laughs> See what I mean? Somewhere around here, there's a golden hen. Um, but, you know, to be honest, there's only so much fun to be had from a hen twice your size. Put a sock in it, short ass. Excuse me. Oh, oh, what's happening? Who's that? What's that thing? Oh! Thank goodness you're small. I thought I'd shrunk. Who are you? My name's Tim. Who are you? I'm Jack. Jack, hello. You're very welcome. Oh, thank you. And I like your furry bag. <laughs> I introduce me. I'll never get to meet anyone. Ignore him. Mm. So, how did you get up here? Well, you see, me and me mum had to sell our cow because we were behind on the rent. I'm glazing over. And we, <laughs> we had to decide how to raise the money, you see. Oh, just give me the shortened version, if you prefer. Ah, oh, you big Nelly! Excuse me. Eh? Ah! <laughs> hey, you! Sorry about that. Mm. Trouble with the instrument. Yeah. Do go on. <laughs> Well, I came up the giant beanstalk to get some of the giant's gold because I'm terribly in love with Jill, you see, and she's so much richer than me. Oh, so you just want some gold. Well, I do, really. Oh, you've come to the right place. There's a whole drawer full here. Oh, yeah. Oh, help yourself. Oh, silly of me. I thought he'd come to rescue me. Obviously not. There's no rescuing involved. I'll just stay here by myself forevermore. Won't bother to pack. It's amazing! Oh, Jack, the giant's coming. I think you'd better hide. Oh, no. I'm going to escape with some gold now because I'm not afraid of anybody. Fee, fi, po, pum. I smell the blood of an Englishman! Well, when I say anybody... Be he alive or be he dead, I'll find his bones <laughs> to make my bread. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> oh! oh. That really tears your hands to shreds, that. Oh, Jack, you're back! Oh, Jack! Oh, Jack! Wow, Jack! <laughs> yes, one bag full of gold coins and one hen what lays golden heads. Yes, 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 don't ask me how the hen got so small. <laughs> and, and you can put that back. We've got the rent now, thank you very much. Oh, Jack, you're back! 
I uh, know. No, no, you're back. You've got all chicken dung all over it. Oh, I thought, oh, sorry. Oh. Well, hose it off later. Yeah. Oh, was it dreadful up there, Jack? Yes, it was, actually. <laughs> But that doesn't matter, because now I'm rich and we can get married. <laughs> Fee, fi, ho, hum. I smell the blood of everyone! Jack and his mother had grown mysteriously popular since becoming wealthy. They had spent the giant's gold prudently on the choicest items. boys and girls, how are you all keeping? Yes. Do you know, we've certainly found out who our friends are since we've got rich. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> it's incredible. I've been doing a bit of shopping. Do you like the frock? Yeah. 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 Yes. I like them, but I'm not quite so keen about where they've hidden the battery. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, here come the posh chocolates. These are the ones the ambassadors serve at their receptions. Uh, oh, excellente. <laughs> oh, look, look, I'm spoiling you. <laughs> now, you've got, you've got to take the foil off first. Take that off. Oh, forget it. Jack's mother and the Baron were getting on much better now. They both had a few quid. Now, what I'm saying is, the gold coins were giant size, so how come the golden hen was, was human size? Look, I don't know. We're not making a documentary. <laughs> Goldie, darling, could I have another of those quails thingies? Could I see your security tech, please, sir? Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> what happened? Oh, we went running up a hill. I fell over. And I just don't want to talk about it. Oh, father. When will you finally consent to me and Jack marrying? Well, I've told you, darling, as soon as I've run that golden hen through some tests. There's nothing worse than finding out that your son-in-law's only contribution to the marriage is a duff chicken. <laughs> oh, Dad! Well, I'd marry Jack even if his hen laid chocolate bananas. Well, exactly. Now, what sort of a person bases their future on chocolate bananas? A crazy person, that's who. Or perhaps a novelty confectioner. <laughs> What's a horrible smell? It's vinegar and brown paper. It's supposed to be good for head injuries. Uh-huh. Ooh, flat brown minty chocolate served in its own envelope. No, thanks, Mum. Listen, we've got a problem. The golden hen has stopped laying golden eggs. Well, maybe it's just taking a few days off. Can't be much fun pushing that much metal out of your bottom every morning. But you don't... <laughs> Understand? It's been over a week now. Ah, oh, but we've still got the coins. No, we haven't. They're gone, spent. Now I don't mind being poor again, but the Baron won't let me marry Jill unless I've got enough. Enough. Are you listening? Right. There's only one thing for it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I um. Listen. I am going back to the giant's kingdom again. <laughs> Come on, Baron, you must come and see my enormous extension. <laughs> Just one more time to stock up on gold coins. No, don't try and stop me. I know it's very dangerous up there, but I must go. Now, we'll... <laughs> All right, I'll go then. Oh! Hey! How about a couple more verses of I'm going to climb the beanstalk just before I go, huh? <laughs> I'm going to climb the beanstalk. <laughs> I'll be brave. <laughs> so, uh... Oh. Well, I'll, um... <laughs>